somebody is trying to break you down, okay? And they probably got you at about a cool 72% broke, okay? They've been working on you over time. This is one of those energies that they know it's no need to come full force at you because you will be combative. You will fight back full force, but this picking away at you has really broke you down, whoever I'm picking up on. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this? I'm telling you, you've been standing your ground and you've been having a victory, but you're starting to feel the, the pressure. You're starting to surrender, possibly to a King of Cups. It's like, enough is enough. You're tired now. Nah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's your energy. And he's doing this because he wants to be in a partnership with you. He wants to take care of you. He don't want you to be doing what you're currently doing. And I picked up on this before. So he's been, over time, filing away at you. And whatever this is that you got going on, he really wants you just to sit down somewhere and chill out, okay? He don't want you to work. He just wants you to do your little daily homemaker hobby things and be there for him. That's the position that he wants you to play up in a house somewhere. You know, he want to put you up and take care of you. Could be a king of wands. But he does not like whatever it is that you're doing now. He's been working on you spiritually. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially for some time. Using whatever mechanisms he has at his access. Whatever he has that he can use to do what he's been doing. He's been doing it and this man and broke your ass down. So Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about it? Because whoever I'm picking up on you tired. It's making me tired, okay? You tired. And he waiting on you to just to really have some sort of like public fuck it moment. Ten of cups in reverse. Ten of wands so he can come in. He wants you to truly give up on the future. So he can come in with this. Y'all think I'm playing. He waiting on you to decide that you done suffering. Because you've been suffering. You, you've been very skeptical about the future. You don't know how things are going to pan out. You're tired. You're stressed. You're overworked. You're having a lot of responsibility to handle on your own. You don't have no help. Okay? And he want to come in and save the day. And that's what he's planning on doing as soon as you decide to sit down. As soon as you make some sort of public declaration that you've had enough, you're giving up. He's going to come in and rescue. And it's all part of the plan. Seven of Swords. Five of Pentacles death. Literally what I just said. He waiting on you to say you tired of being in the Five of Pentacles. You tired of struggling. You're tired of all the burdens and the issues that you face. And you're, you're done. Okay? You done trying. You done fighting. You done doing whatever it is that you've been doing. When he sees that you have a new perspective about your life and your current actions, he's going to come in and give you an offer, okay? But the devil is right behind the queen of wands because I'm telling you, this man has been taking all kind of action against you to make you eventually concede to this opportunity that he wants to pre present to you this offer he has been behind the scenes doing this to make you ultimately accept that okay that's what he's been doing and you are worn out you are worn out he has even collaborated with people this ain't nothing he done pulled off by himself 
That's why it's just amazing to me. But we're going to talk about it because I'm being led to talk about some of this stuff that I've been holding back because I, I don't know how to process it. I don't know who it applies to. I don't know why I keep picking up on, on this energy, but obviously it's a message for somebody and I'm being compelled. I'm almost being forced by the Holy Spirit to get some of these messages out that I've been holding back. But somebody is really close to having some sort of breakdown. And it's been it's been a former lover behind the scenes causing this type of stress for this Queen of Wands here. And I'm telling you, he he worked with people to do it. This Emperor, he has the power and the authority and the ability to do it, and he's doing it. He's doing it. He's causing this woman to be in the Ten of Wands, okay? He's causing this drama in her life. And she has Libra somewhere prominently in her chart as well. Because I'm telling you, she's been steadfast and unmovable for a long-ass time. He's impressed at her ability to persevere through all the hell that he sent at her. But she's at her wit's end. Because it's only but so much one person can take. And she don't have. She got God though. Okay. She do got God. Because see I'm even getting in some sort of. Uh, you know what. What are we going to do. <laughs> Type of energy here. Like god dang. You know what I'm saying. What did you say fuck it. Because you know Lord I'm trying. I'm trying Lord. And you know I'm being transparent. Because I'm tired. And I'm sure if you listen to any of my videos on this channel or the other channel, you didn't heard some of the background energy that I'm tired of. And it's, it's still happening among other things. Okay? But, you know, it's like, damn. You know, you just want me to give up. So what happens after I give up? According to this emperor, he going to take care of somebody after they give up now. So he going to keep working on you. Hermit with the Knight of Pentacles until you give up. So, you know, you got to go to God about this because how you, it's like, Yeah, I don't I'm trying to fathom it. Okay, on one hand, you could be like, fuck it, I'm gonna give up. I'm finna say fuck it. Cause whoever this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords is, she's on some sort of divine mission now. Clarify, Holy Spirit. She's taking some sort of action. Look what came out. Temperance. This is an earth angel. She could be a Sagittarius. She's taking some some sort of action that it's part of her divine mission and her divine purpose, okay? So, you know, he don't like that. He don't like it. And when he knew, knew this person before, back in the day, or however he used to interact with her, she would have been happy to take this offer and not operate in this divinity and be exactly who he, want, who he wanted her to be. But she ain't doing that no more. Because that she don't start in reverse. She's not doing anything that's going to balance things the way he wants, to, wants them to be. She's not aligning her life the way that he wants her to align her life. And because of this, he is attacking her. And he is spiritually attacking her as well. I just saw the four swords that popped back in. Two of Pentacles. He definitely is doing that. Okay. Start star reverses follow right up under the devil. So she been really dealing with a lot. But steadfast and unmovable with this two of swords. She ain't gave up. But I'm telling you, she running out of fuel. She running out of energy. She's not questioning God. She ain't doubting God, but she want God to be more. 
have, give her more clarity about why she going through what she going through. When is it going to end? 10, 10. With this world card on the bottom, she's tired of being in despair. When will she be free of this constant antagonization that she's been receiving from this man? Just because he wanted to turn around and give her a love off of y'all? Come on now, y'all. Love was right behind the Knight of Cups. Just because he wanted to turn around and give her a love offer? Okay? You know, that, that, just, that just ain't right. Okay? It's not right. And it's not okay. So, Holy Spirit, how is this going to play out? Because one thing I was saying... And God wouldn't even let me finish saying it at the time because I'm glad I didn't say it because I thought about it and I'm coming back with it this way. I'm coming back with it a little different. She could forfeit her divinity to be with this man, but she's not going to forfeit her divinity. She's not going to forfeit this earth angel energy that she has embodied. I mean, Queen of Swords is falling right up under the, under the judgment. I see the angel on the card. Queen of Wands is is diagonal to temperance. I see the angel on the card. She's truly embodying an earth angel energy that she's not going to sacrifice for a partnership with this man. If he can't be with her in this earth angel energy, she's not going to be with him. Okay? Let's do one more shuffle. Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, she's not going to forfeit her divinity for no partnership, emperor or not. Clarify, seven of swords, because she know how the partnership is coming to pass is not correct. It's not correct. Shit. He's look at what he's doing to get her to eventually accept the offer when and if he presents it to her. Because who's to say that this woman will drop everything she got going and then he turn around and change his mind and be like, well, I don't want to fuck with her. Who's to say what'll happen in the future with this Ten of Cups? Because he's already moving funny. So who's to say he won't move funny in the future? Okay, see, that's the other part about that. Seven of Wands. She ain't trying to hear it. He ain't even came with it, but she still ain't trying to hear it because she knows whatever forces are fighting against her it's because of her residing in this earth angel energy. It's because of whatever she's doing that he wants her to stop doing. Ain't nobody finna give up God for no partnership. I mean, I don't know. I ain't finna give up God for no partnership, child. 13, 13. If, if an emperor come to me and be like, I want to be with you, but you got to stop believing in God. I ain't finna give up God to be with that emperor. That's literally kind of what he want her to do. To celebrate and have success with him, you can't be in this divine energy. That's what he's basically saying to this woman now. And that's not right. Ace of Wands, Five of Cups. You want her to forfeit and be in regret about her relationship with God in order to have a partnership with you? Come on now. Right, that don't make sense. Do it, Echo. Do it. He just a talking. He want to talk, child. I'm trying to tell you. Why would you put yourself up under judgment, though, just to collaborate with somebody? Three of Pentacles with the judgment card. Judgment out here twice. He want her to decide to give up on life, that life how she living it, to be with him. And I just don't see this woman doing that. I do see this ending soon. I do see this coming to a close because her perseverance is going to push through his spiritual attacks. It's been going on for a long time, but the fact that she hadn't given up is going to work out in her benefit. Four of Wands. She's about to be free of this. Four of Wands talks about freedom, celebration. The ability to move about and express yourself within your community and be okay, be happy, be stable. 
the world, okay? That's what she's about to experience. This woman may even be about to go travel. Like, something is about to open up for her here, okay? Because this is about to end. All this drama this man been taking her through, it's about to end here. Okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? We ain't got to stay here too long, y'all. It's just the fact that if this applies to you, God is saying, don't give up. Don't, the lovers, you're chosen. Okay? The lovers with the star. Have faith in God's love, God's choice for you to be who you are, to do what you're doing, to possibly give faith and hope to others because you are chosen. You're an inspiration for people, whoever you are. So if you give up on what you're doing, I ain't going to say a lot of people are going to give up on what they're doing, but there are a lot of people who look to you to help keep them in alignment. And that's the responsibility that comes with your divinity. So, you know, it's going to be some lost souls in a sense. That's what I'm seeing here because I'm looking at all these stars that are coming from this woman's hand. That's, that's a lot of spirits and souls that this one star is guiding through the night, guiding through the dark here. Helping them land where they're supposed to land and be. Okay? So whoever this Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands is, she is chosen. And the universe is saying, don't forfeit your divinity for this emperor. King of Swords energy here. Because he is opposition. He out here is the King of Swords twice, I want to say. He definitely is working against this woman. He could have Aquarius somewhere prominently in his chart. Knight of Swords again. Taking some sort of action against her to stop her from doing what she's doing so she can partner with him. So when he comes in with this commitment, with this comfort, with this stability, she will think that she's receiving justice, that she's receiving an offer that is going to ease her pain, ease her burden. But a lot of the pain and burdens that she's experiencing, again, is because of this King of Pentacles, this ex-lover here, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Will of Fortune, Temperance, Hierophant, and the Sun, Queen of Wands, There is about to be some sort of breakthrough here, some sort of turning point, a change in circumstance with this will of fortune and this temperance energy, definitely some sort of divine intervention. It's given that the universe says you didn't dealt with enough of this man's antagonization and you have gained the wisdom and knowledge that you needed to move forward from what you've been facing. Because the fact that you didn't give up is really giving you brownie points in the spiritual realm. And they're about to relieve some of this stress that you've been feeling for sure. You're about to be in the sun. So I don't know what's going to happen to him and what he been doing against you, 1919. I don't even want to ask, but we're going to see because I know inquiring, inquiring minds would like to know. Tower was on the bottom of this deck. If you're going to be on the top of the wheel, if you finna be happy, and you've been being sad and broken down and stressed out and burdened, that's what he about to be. I mean, both of y'all ain't finna be on top of the wheel because y'all not meant to be on the top of the wheel together. So if he's been taking action to keep you on the bottom and the wheel is about to shift in your favor, that's what he finna be now. Let's see, though. I'm just saying, that's logic. That ain't me putting nothing on him. That's called cause and effect, baby. 
Universal law. What you put out, you get back. So let's see what he finna get back. If the Holy Spirit would like for us to know, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Temperance. I'm telling you, divine intervention. Because this has been going on for a long time. And the universe has been letting it go on. Because the universe has been trying to see if you were going to cling to your divinity. Cling to the most high God. Or if you was going to cling to this man. Cling to the low vibrational energy that he was sending at you. Act fearful and helpless and give up, give up all hope. And you ain't do that. So now God is balancing things in your favor. And this is going to end. This man is about to experience some endings for keeping playing with you. King of Cups. Okay? Instead of just coming in and loving you and offering you the help and the comfort and the assistance that you need that he want to give you so bad, obviously, he doing all of this shit. Like, why not just come in and give her the offer? He at a distance. I'm telling you, why restrict yourself? Why try to restrict this, this earth angel when you could have just came in and gave her the offer? It's because he don't want you to be in this earth angel energy. Two of swords. It's back out here again. The energy is repeating itself. So because he wanted to do this for you, do this to you, he going to have to suffer the consequences. Because he tried to break you up with God. And I hate to even say that like that because you ain't no damn nun or nothing like that. But again, if he would have came in, came in correct, it wouldn't have been none of this. But he did not. He was trying to destroy you from the background. Man. Holy Spirit. What else here? What else here, Holy Spirit? Five of Pentacles. Let's see what this is that fell, y'all. Hermit in reverse. King of Swords. Something is going to be exposed about him. Eight of Swords. Justice. So if this man has been doing anything else, and this also keeps coming out for these energies that are in this vibe here, that are in this, who are acting and behaving this way, this is this has also been coming out for them. If they've been doing anything else behind the scenes that they ain't have no business doing. They finna get in trouble for it. That's what's happening with this masculine here. That's, that's why this is also finna end. That's the divine intervention. Because he didn't want to stop. He was, he was sure he was finna break you up with God. And I'm telling you, I don't want to be one of them women that be like, God is all you need. You don't need no man. Because that ain't what I'm saying. But God will fulfill your needs. I know that. All of your needs. He will heal you. He will restore you. He will keep you in alignment. And when you are in alignment, that masculine can come in and partner with you and be the lover that you want and desire him to be. Because you are the lover that he wants and desires you to be. It goes both ways now. Okay? So you ain't got to give up God to get no man. I, I want to make that very clear here. That's, the, that's what this masculine is pushing unconsciously on this feminine. And that's not the case. Okay? And that's why God is going to come in and get him on up out the way. Because he's truly trying to deter her off of her divine path. And that's just not the way it's going to go. And it's because she primarily chose to stick it out. Despite what she's been suffering. God ain't finna let her run out of gas. She feel like she about to run out of gas. But God ain't finna let you run out of gas. Okay? He got you. 
Knight of Swords. He coming in. He see what's up. And he's coming in to fix it. Because your true divine counterpart ain't going to make you or force you in any way to break up with God. To end your relationship with God. End whatever God has called you to do. Tell you you need to stop talking about God. Living, about, living for God. Encouraging people to seek God. You know, your true divine counterpart is not going to do that. A good person that you need to be with ain't going to do that. But that's what this masculine has been doing, and it's about to be over with. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Queen of Cups. A softer energy. You're not going to have to be in that battle mode that you were in for so long with this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. You're going to be able to relax some. You are going to be able to rest and recover. It's going to get easier. Look, now you're coming out here as an empress. Whoever I'm talking to, you have earned your stripes. You're definitely being elevated, pinned in the spiritual realm because of this battle that you've been fighting against this former lover here. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Nine of Wands, Two of Wands. It's been rough, but prepare for it to get real lovely, okay? Prepare for you to have options in life when at one point you didn't know what you were going to do. There was nothing on the table from you to, for you to choose from. Now, you ain't going to know what to choose from. You're going to have so many options, whoever I'm picking up on. Because he definitely was blocking a lot of shit. But all of those doors are about to be opened up. Collaborations, even. Different people are going to start showing up and helping you. People that were probably blocked somehow because of this man's antics. Okay, but you truly are about to be in some sort of relaxed, settled, restored vibe. Whoever I'm picking up on, okay? I know it's been tough, but, you know, trouble don't last always. And this ain't finna last too much longer. Whoever this masculine is that keeps fucking with this woman, trying to break her down so that he can come in and save the day. Who's most of all trying to give her, get her to give up her divinity. To forfeit her relationship with God. He's about to forfeit some things in his life as a result. Okay. And you're about to receive a lot of what he's been keeping away from you. In his attempt to get you to leave this life that you've been living behind. And I'm going to drop the mic. I hope this message helps someone. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.